Right now, how the UW is helping fill a void when it comes to hiring and retaining local teachers. And later, a new program is partnering local law enforcement agencies with health care providers. How it'll work and its goals straight ahead. You're watching News 3 Now at 6. Well, it is almost time to go back to school, but some parents and students are still waiting to find out who their teacher will be this year. As of last Friday, there were nearly 200 teacher openings in the Madison School District alone. Catherine Merck has been keeping tabs on a national teacher shortage. She joins us now live from UW-Madison campus with some of the ways that educators in our area are trying to support new hires. Catherine? National data show that a teaching job is a hard sell right now. But at UW-Madison, they are taking note of it and have a program that's going to help combat it. The reasons to avoid a teaching job can get pretty lengthy. A critique of the teaching profession is the pay. And I think that COVID has exacerbated that by making the you know, working conditions for teachers even more um, challenging. That's what's fueling UW-Madison's program to aid teachers struggling in their first job. The university's program pledges to pay the equivalent of an in-state tuition and fees, testing and licensing costs, all for teacher education students. In return, you pledge to work at Wisconsin pre-K through 12 schools for three to four years after graduation. And now in this environment particularly, um, universities and certainly us uh, included are thinking a lot more about induction support so that bridge to their first years of teaching. The university hopes this will help a problem we're seeing in school districts across the country and right here. Currently Madison's largest school district has nearly 200 teacher openings. The district referred me to a Washington Post article with statements from the superintendent where the title says the teacher shortages have never been this bad. And though the job can be tough, perhaps the biggest perk of being a teacher is the most important to remember during these shortages. For us, it's to sort of nurture that and to show them the ways that their enthusiasm and their, like, um, their planning and preparation are really going to be able to have, you know, um, a wide and broad impact on young people who are, you know, who are their future, really. There is some optimistic news in terms of staffing at MMSD. They tell me today that they've filled 406 positions so far this summer, including the nine open principal positions that were open as of last week. Reporting live in Madison, I'm Catherine Merck for News 3 Now. Catherine, thank you. At In Beloit, just under a month before the start of the school year, the district has named its new interim superintendent at its meeting. Last night, the district school board voted 6-1 to one to appoint Dr. Wayne Roger Anderson to that position. In a news release, the district said Anderson has served as a superintendent for 26 years, including in Mount Horeb. It's unknown when a full-time superintendent will be named. The rain today causing the final concerts on the square performance to be postponed. The finale with Foley will now happen tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Let's get a look at our certified most accurate forecast now with Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti on the backyard patio. Well, Charlotte, it's very humid out here. Of course, we had some rain earlier. Uh, we probably could have gotten the concerts in without having rain, but the ground is still wet. Tomorrow, a much nicer day. The Metro Futurecaster tomorrow shows a high of 82 with mostly sunny skies. It'll be less humid, so probably a better day for concerts. The time lapse from the Queen Bee Radio Skycam looking out toward the north and west over the last three hours shows thunderstorms developing to the northwest, but they kind of expanded back to the southwest. So Platteville is just getting the tail end of these showers and storms. The skies are actually clearing out to the west. So they're going to probably miss out on this batch of showers and storms now moving more almost due south into eastern Iowa and out of Grant County. So uh, Platteville probably staying dry, maybe just near the Mississippi River, a couple of showers and thunderstorms. Three hour future track radar shows maybe a shower or storm popping up mainly south of Madison, but most areas will stay dry. Temperatures right now, lower 80s in Madison, upper 70s to the north, still near 90 in La Crosse. But the big thing is the dew point. They're still in the lower 70s, so it's very humid out here. To the northwest, notice Black River Falls in the upper left corner of the map. They're down to 61, so the air drying out for tomorrow or for tonight. Look for temperatures to drop off into the middle 70s by late evening with partly cloudy skies. Again, slight chance we're in a shower or storm, mainly south of Madison. Tomorrow will be much nicer, but our alert days in the forecast for Saturday. I'll have more on that in just a few minutes. 
Well, as people in Kentucky continue to grapple with historic and deadly flooding, volunteers are on their way to help. One of them is Scott Adler, who has been a longtime volunteer with the American Red Cross. Today, he flew out of Madison to go south. He says he will spend roughly two weeks in Kentucky. The Wanakee native and current Madison resident is one of four volunteers from Wisconsin who've offered their time to help with the response. Governor Tony Evers signing an executive order today for all flags to be flown at half staff this Friday, marking the 10th anniversary of the Oak Creek Sick Temple shooting. On that day, a white supremacist murdered six people and injured several others inside that temple. And just across the state line, the accused gunman in the mass shooting at the July 4th parade in Highland Park pleaded not guilty today to more than 100 felony charges. Robert Cremo III was indicted by a grand jury last week on 117 felony counts, including murder, attempted murder, and aggravated battery. For Republicans ahead of next week's primary election, it is a tale of two sides in Wisconsin. Today, former Vice President Mike Pence traveled to Waukesha for a campaign event for former Lieutenant Governor Rebecca Clayfish. They were joined by former Governor Scott Walker, taking part in a roundtable event with local law enforcement. And looking ahead, here's the other half of the Republican Party slated to attend an event in Waukesha on Friday. Former President Trump will be the headliner. He will be joined by two of his endorsed candidates, Tim Michaels, who is running for governor, and Adam Steen, who is challenging Speaker Robin Voss. And today, our web team put together a comprehensive interactive list of all of Madison's polling locations for next Tuesday's primary. Just head to channel3000.com to check it out and find yours. Dane County is joining nationwide initiative to improve the quality of the life of people caught up in the criminal justice system. Tahalio Mohadeen spoke with county leaders about the Familiar Faces initiative and has the story. Closing the revolving door of people in and out of the criminal justice system has been on Dane County's radar for years. Everybody is very supportive of this. I worked with the Madison Police Department several years ago on a similar initiative, but the technology tools we had at our disposal were not as robust as they are today. Clerk of Circuit Court Carlo Esqueda says now the expertise and technology is available to make it happen. And it starts with information sharing. If somebody's getting frequent bookings at the jail and we identify this, we can alert the Department of Human Services, for example, and hopefully hook that person up with services that they may need. And to figure out the best way to do that, Dane County is looking for guidance from other municipalities nationwide. More experience in data sharing efforts across behavioral health and justice systems. We've made some good first steps. I think our involvement in the national program will tell us, help guide us on what the next steps should be. Madison Street Medicine Executive Director Brenda Conkle believes the Familiar Faces Initiative can have a positive impact on those they serve. We do have a pretty high percentage of folks who are also in and out of the criminal justice system. She says many experiencing homelessness are constantly running into smaller issues that eventually add up. If the systems would coordinate together and, and have us work together, we would not have so many setbacks for the folks that are that are experiencing, you know, mental health issues, substance use issues. She's hopeful the new initiative will help change that. And Escada believes the Justice Council is the best place to get started. In Madison, Tehlil Mahdeen, News 3 Now. The cohort of counties joining the initiative are the first to do so. Those involved expect to present their findings and make recommendations in about six months. Still ahead tonight, a couple of hometown athletes competing in this year's CrossFit Games here in Madison. But first, a Wisconsin bus driver with a keen eye spots a young toddler in need. The whole incident caught on camera. The story next. It's Slumberland's anniversary sale, and to celebrate, we're stacking the deals. Buy any sofa or sectional and get 20% off your second purchase. Get another 20% off both items. Plus, we are still offering great special financing at Slumberland Furniture. Outlets at the Dells, an attraction not to be missed. With over 60 of the world's biggest brands, we thrill family vacationers, trendsetters, and all who love a smoking hot discount. We are all about the thrill of the deal, the joy of finding the thing you forgot to pack, the backpack that the kids really, really want, the sneakers that make PE class the most awesome, and the discounts that no one else can touch. Get the first day look they want and save up to 70% off every Everything for back to school. Visit outlets at thedells.com for coupon and details. During Steinhoffel's small space event, all our furniture designed for smaller rooms is on sale. Sofas, bedrooms, dining rooms, and more. It's all 35% off. 
No matter the size of your space, we have everything to help create the home of your dreams. And with Steinhoffel's special financing, your new room is even more affordable. Steinhoffel's has the largest selection of in-stock furniture and mattresses ready for your home. Relax, it's Steinhoffel's. I'm Rebecca Clayfish, and your choice for governor is clear. I'm the Tea Party mom who took on the Madison establishment and won. Tim Michaels is a Madison insider who's enriched himself with your tax dollars. I stood with Scott Walker to cut your taxes. Tim Michaels sided with the union bosses and pushed to raise our gas tax to make himself richer. Tim Michaels is out for himself. I'm Rebecca Clayfish. As governor, I'll always fight for you. It's Slumberland's anniversary mattress sale, and we've got great deals and specials on mattresses. Like a free bedding bundle with select mattress purchases of $5.99 or more. That's two free pillows, a sheet set, comforter, and two pillowcases. Free! Only at Slumberland Furniture. You are watching News 3 Now at 6. Welcome back. A bus driver in Green Bay went beyond the call of duty this week to help a little boy in need. With her keen eye, the driver quickly saw that the toddler was alone. Yeah, here he's right here on the bus's camera there. She got him onto the bus, called authorities, and the kind act was recorded on surveillance video. Casey Torres reports. It's more than just eyes on the road. Green Bay Metro Transit bus operators have public safety in mind. Operators are trained to be very observant and aware of all their surroundings, so a lot goes into it when they're moving down the road. That training kicked into high gear for one driver last Tuesday when a little boy ran across the street on the corner of Kingston Terrace and Princeton Place in Bellevue. A busy street just one block away in the direction he is heading. The bus driver was finishing up one of her final routes for the night at this bus stop. When she spotted the toddler walking all alone, she didn't hesitate to help. In this video, you see the driver, who declined an on-camera interview, bringing the boy into the bus around 6.30 p.m. We're going to find your mom and dad, okay? See if we can find out where they went. Did you wander away from the house? Yeah. Yeah. Do you live here? Are you in the apartment? She continues asking questions and reassures the boy they'll find mom and dad. This goes on for about 10 minutes until law enforcement shows up. Hey, buddy. The Brown County Sheriff's Office tells Action 2 News the boy was reunited with his mom. Green Bay Metro Transit's operations supervisor, Jake Lipto, is proud of the driver and says it's what they do. It just goes to show like, the great job that the drivers do in utilizing that training, being observant, um, aware of their surroundings, and uh, always willing to help out in any way that we can. And that was Casey Torres reporting. Simple act of kindness uh -huh. there. A happy ending. Still ahead at six, Dane County investing in area students' mental health needs. Plus, meet the former UW students competing in this year's CrossFit Games. And after a wet day today, we'll see what's in store for the rest of the week. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti will have his complete forecast. That's next. Shop local for quality made in the USA products at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Browse a wide variety of sofas and hardwood home furnishings from brands you can trust, like Smith Brothers, Simply Amish, and Flex Steel. Every style, every budget. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Do you struggle to open or close your windows? Are they drafty or leaky? Are you constantly adjusting your thermostat only to have your energy bill skyrocket? If you're nodding your head yes, Renewal by Anderson is your best solution. They custom build and install weather tight replacement windows and back them with a generous, fully transferable limited warranty. Call now to schedule your free design consultation. Plus, take advantage of this limited time offer with incredible savings and attractive financing. Don't miss out. Call Renewal by Anderson today. 
Rebecca Clayfish. She's the ultimate Madison insider. Clayfish went to China to sell out Wisconsin workers. Back home, Clayfish took big money from lobbyists and then went to work for one, working for special interests backing amnesty for illegal immigrants. Pro-China, pro-amnesty. No wonder Clayfish refused to support Donald Trump. Rebecca Clayfish, the pro-China, pro-amnesty, anti-Trump politician. She's the ultimate Madison insider. Get moving with the Planet Fitness Black Card and check out all the perks. Like access to over 2,000 locations? You got it. Bring a guest anytime. That's right. And relax and unwind with massage chairs and more. Plus get tons of variety and space to move in our super clean clubs. Your fitness is essential. Join Planet Fitness today and get all the perks of the PF Black Card. Join Planet Fitness today and club or online for just zero down then only $24.99 a month. Hurry, this offer ends August 10th. Oh, great. My wireless bill just went up. Hmm. Should have gone with U.S. Cellular. They aren't raising prices on any of their plans. Seriously? Yeah, my price won't increase. Well, that is refreshing. I feel like everywhere you turn these days, prices are going up. Supply chain got us too. Don't get me started on the overhead costs. At U.S. Cellular, every plan for everyone is price protected. You know, I respect a female entrepreneur. U.S. Cellular, where every plan is price protected. Shop local for quality made in the USA products at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Browse a wide variety of sofas and hardwood home furnishings from brands you can trust, like Smith Brothers, Simply Amish, and Flex Steel. Every style, every budget. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. You are watching News 3 Now at 6. The city of Madison is gearing up to host the CrossFit Games for the fifth year in a row. Hundreds of athletes from dozens of countries are in Madison to compete for the title Fittest on Earth. That includes a pair of former Badgers and Wisconsin natives. Julie Ackerman was a member of the Wisconsin Dive Team and has worked her way back to her first CrossFit Games since 2018. Chris Ixaros is a former Badger hockey player, is overwhelmed and excited to be able to compete in the very arena he played in during his time in college. 2017 was the first year I made it, um, and that was a really special year for me just because of exactly what you said. It was like coming full circle. Um, I got to see my diving coach, who I hadn't seen in years, um, and I just love the city, so I have a lot of uh, big special place in my heart for Madison. It's just the pride I have in the university, and since I was five years old, I wanted to be a Badger, and I, I made that dream come true and ended my career here. Um, this is the first year I get to compete in the Coliseum, so... I just hope to God they don't play jump around because I, you know, things I might lose it. <laughs> <laughs> Julie and Chris will compete at the World Stopping Grounds all weekend, both competing to win their age groups. So tune in right here on News 3 Now WISC TV on Sunday to watch the final day of the games. CBS will be live from noon until 2. Dane County is giving local schools money to expand their mental health care services. The county gave five area districts a total of $265,000 to meet students' behavioral health needs. That includes adding staff, expanding services, and providing outreach programs. The districts benefiting are Madison, Oregon, Stoughton, Sun Prairie, and the Wisconsin Heights District. We are continuing our back-to-school fundraiser in partnership with the Boys and Girls Club. If you don't have time to go shopping for supplies and drop them off, you do have another option to give back. McKenna Alexander explains what they'll spend that money on. Besides the items needed by the Boys and Girls Club, monetary donations help them give students flexibility when it comes to purchasing what they need for the school year. And that's through the form of gift cards. So that's especially the case for college students when it comes to buying specific textbooks for a class or something special for their dorm room. Now these students have been with the Boys and Girls Club for at least several years. So organizers say the support they provide really means a lot for students that have now graduated and are on their way to college. They have been, you know, Boys and Girls Clubs members at least through their high school experience and now through their college experience. They know that we're um, an area of support for them and so they really count on us to help them succeed through college. And so when we can provide the supplies for them, it really helps them out. If you don't want to donate money, you can also drop items off at several locations or through the Boys and Girls Club Amazon wish list, meaning you really can donate from anywhere, anytime. So for a full list of donation drop-off locations, as well as what types of donations are needed, you can visit our website at channel3000.com. For News 3 Now, I'm McKenna Alexander.
Now, Kenna, thank you. And if you'd rather drop off physical supplies, you have the rest of the week to do it. Here's a short list of drop off locations up on your screen right now. You can stop by our new Street Now studios as well or come visit Josh and Leah during the morning show on Friday at Lake Wingra for our big fill the boat event. We have a full list of locations along with the items the Boys and Girls Club is asking for. That's at channel3000.com. And here's Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti with a look at our first worn forecast. Well, unfortunately, concerts on the square had to get postponed tonight, mainly for the rain that fell earlier the day. Uh, right now, we're probably not going to see any rain during the evening. There was some severe weather. If you had a weather radio, it probably went off about uh, noon. Uh, it was warnings that were issued for Dane County. But most of the severe weather over the last 24 hours has either been in the northern part of the, of, uh, the Midwest, that was last night, from Minnesota up into northern Wisconsin, or late this afternoon into early this evening, uh, into the Chicago area and down into Michigan. We were kind of in the middle with just a couple of severe weather reports, uh, some hail in Ozaki County and to the south and west, some wind reports over parts of northeastern Iowa. The big issue was rain in some areas. Uh, the rain was spotty. We've been talking about this for the last couple of days. We expected just about everybody to get rain and you can see on rain vision rainfall estimates, everybody did get some rain, but there were some areas that got more rain where the heavier thunderstorms traversed and you can see the one cell that uh, brought the severe thunderstorm more mornings around noon uh, to the north, even dropping as much as three to five inches of rain from far eastern portions of Dodge County into northern portions of Ozaki County. But much of the area saw about, between about a quarter to a half inch of rain. I just checked our rain gauge here and we picked up about a third of an inch of rain. So that was pretty typical. But some of the heavier thunderstorms that came out of Iowa moved into Grant County and dumped about an inch or two of rain. But now almost all the rain is gone. There were some thunderstorms in Crawford County. You can see as they've drifted to the south, even the lightning is going away. So if there is a thunderstorm threat, it's going to be in the next hour or two. And then after that, a cold front will come through. The winds will shift to the northwest and we should start drying out. You can see future radar, maybe a shower or thunderstorm in a spot or two, mainly south of Madison over the next couple of hours. But again, uh, most of the rain should be over with. Three things you need to know. It'll be warm and dry for tomorrow and Friday with a drop in the humidity, feeling very comfortable comfortable but the heat returns for Saturday with high humidity and then that could lead to some thunderstorms late Saturday night into Sunday and Sunday night. Now we do have an alert day in the forecast. This is for the high heat and humidity. Saturday afternoon we'll see high temperatures in the lower 90s. Heat index readings between about 95 and 100 degrees pretty much for all of southern Wisconsin. Thunderstorms will start to break the heat later Saturday night. These storms actually fell, moved out well ahead of the cold front which is actually back where the showers and storms are back into uh, Grant County. So the wind shift is occurring behind the front and as that happens, the air starts to dry out and temperatures drop off. Notice temperatures in the 80s here, they drop off a little bit more to the north and west, but look at the dew points. Lower 70s here, 50s to the north and west. That's the drier air that's moving in for tomorrow. So look for mostly sunny skies tomorrow. Concerts on the square, rescheduled for tomorrow evening. No problem there. High temperature at 82, a noticeable drop in the humidity in the 7 to 10 day forecast. 84 on Friday. Again, the alert day for Saturday for the high heat and humidity. Thunderstorms Saturday night into Sunday, ending on Monday morning. And another prolonged period of dry weather. High temperatures lower 80s with low humidity for much of next week. And coming up in sports, fall camp is underway for the Badgers. The message Paul Chris is preaching to his players as they gear up for September 3rd. That's next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. plan is moving this country in a better direction. What planet is he living on? Record gas prices, 40-year high inflation, costing families five grand more for their necessities. Sorry, Joe, that's the wrong direction. Here on planet Earth, Senator Johnson voted against Biden's massive deficit spending that sparked inflation, and he passed tax cuts to help Wisconsin families survive the economic turmoil caused by Democrats. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. 
What does dry skin feel like? It was really scaly. Like a pet lizard. New Dove Body Wash with Microbiome Nutrient Serum transforms the driest skin in one shower. I feel amazing. I feel like put on a really good dress. Your skin's full of life again. <laughs> New Dove Body Wash. It's Throwback Thursdays from hy V. This Thursday, fresh ground chuck, only $2.88 a pound. Sweet corn, a dozen for only $6. A four-pack of bakery muffins, only $3.99. And buy one, get one free on Nori Sushi Rolls. Thursday only. And save even more with hy V Fuel Saver. Right now, save up to $7.07 per gallon with your hy V Fuel Saver Plus Perks card. And visit hy Deals.com for even more deals. Culver's couldn't have started anywhere but in Sauk City, Wisconsin. Still today, we are a family restaurant. Here, nearby farms grow the food we eat, smiles are contagious, and everyone is someone's neighbor. It's a place where our love of fresh food is as strong as our love for each other. It's a feeling of welcome you'll notice the moment you stop by. Because where we come from has made us who we are. And for that, we couldn't be more proud. Welcome to Delicious. Food insecurity isn't just about hunger, it can create serious medical problems in growing kids. Tomorrow, our Time for Kids expert explains why that may surprise you. And another bout of heat is on the way. I'll tell you how warm and when from 4.30 to 7. Wisconsin wrapped up one, day one of fall camp this morning at Camp Randall, and the countdown to, is down to 31 days until their season opener against Illinois State. The hardest part about fall camp is not looking ahead to week one. It's a time to fine-tune the fundamentals and build up that momentum to game week. So how does Paul Chris remind his team to do that? Well, with a simple message. Just stay in the moment. I think it's probably what drives you to stay in the moment, right? You know the games are coming, so how do I take advantage of those games? Make the most out of today. Make the most out of the, the moment we're in right now. Obviously, you know, it's always um, a great time when football is right around the corner. Um, it's when everyone puts their head down and um, starts focusing on week one, so I'm just excited to get back into that mode. The Packers special teams unit was not good last season, and truthfully, it hasn't been good for a while. This year, there's a complete overhaul with that phase of the team. In fact, it's not even called special teams anymore. The group's new coach, Rich Basaccia, has dubbed his unit We Fence. No matter if you're a rookie or a four-year starter, you're contributing. And these guys like Adrian Amos and A.J. Dillon are dead set on not letting what happened last year happen again. It's an all-in thing, you know what I'm saying? I feel like from the top down, everybody is um, invested in into getting it right, you know what I'm saying? We got um, offense, defense, defense, and, and you know, um, like I said, everybody's contributing and doing their part. A lot of us can say and be accountable and look back and say, hey, we dropped the ball last year. And uh, I think uh, there's a lot of accountability in there, and everybody's pushing each other to be better as a whole. On the hardwood, Brad Davison is heading overseas to play professionally in Lithuania. In his final season in Madison, the former Badger averaged 14 points and four rebounds per game and helped lead Wisconsin to its second Big Ten regular season title in the last three years. And on the link, Steve Stricker will be wearing a captain's title again this fall. Davis Love III named the Edgerton native a captain's assistant for the 2022 President's Cup. Stricker's coming off a Ryder Cup captain campaign where he led the U.S. to a 19-9 win over the Europeans back in September. He also guided the U.S. to a President's Cup win in 2017. He might be the busiest man in golf. Yeah, you get a sense sometimes he just likes some time yeah. off. Just <laughs> relax a little. I get enough golf. I'm good. He's probably your yeah. mm -hmm. Gary's back. Final check. Yeah, live view from the uh, Platteville Kumi Radio Sky Cam. The skies are clearing out to the west as the last of the showers and storms bypass uh, Platteville to the south and west. Nothing really across the rest of southern Wisconsin. Can't rule out a shower or storm at some point south of Madison for the next couple of hours. Gary, thank you. Thanks for joining us for News 3 Now at 6. Have a great evening, and we'll see you back here at 10.